Hey everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to solve systems of equations that are presented to you as a word problem. If you haven't yet had a chance to check out my previous two videos on solving systems of equations using the substitution method and the elimination method, I highly recommend that you check those out first. In this video, we're gonna take a look at one of each, but when they're presented as word problems. If you have seen those videos already, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to jump right into the example, which is a word problem. It says Mark and Stacy ran a total of 70 miles one week. If Stacy ran 20 miles more than Mark, how many miles did each of them run? So with any word problem, the key is to figure out how to break down the problem and find the important information. And in this, we have two pieces of information that are going to help us set up our equations. Mark and Stacy ran a total of 70 miles, and Stacy ran 20 miles more than Mark. So I'm going to use letters to represent the different people here, M for Mark, S for Stacy. And when I do that, I get the two equations. Mark and Stacy ran a total of 70 miles, which is just M plus S equals 70. And then Stacy ran 20 miles more than Mark. So Stacy equals Mark's mileage plus an additional 20. Now that I have my two equations set up, I can go ahead and solve them using a system of equations, one of the methods. And in my video on substitution, I said the key is to look for one of your equations that says one variable equals some quantity in relation to another. In this case, I have Stacy equals Mark plus 20. So I'm gonna use that information. I'm gonna take the quantity M plus 20, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and plug it in for S in my other equation. And this will help me solve for m. So when I do that, I get m plus the quantity m plus 20 equals 70. Now I have an equation with just one variable. I can go ahead and solve that for that one variable. Simplifying m plus m equals 2m plus the 20 equals 70. And I can use some algebra here. I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. That leaves me with 2m equals 50. Then I can divide both sides by 2 and I get m equals 25. So Mark's mileage is 25 miles. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy down the original equations and then I'm going to take the newly found information that m equals 25 and I'm going to go ahead and plug it into m in one of my equations. I'm using the second one because I know that if I plug in 25 for m I get s equals a number plus another number and it's simple I can get my answer for s. So when I do that s equals 25 plus 20 which is going to be 45 miles. So now I have the answer for both variables. I know my solution is that S or Stacy ran 45 miles and M or Mark ran 25 miles. I can do a quick check of this to see that 45 plus 25 equals 70, which is the total mileage. And 45 is 20 miles more than 25. So it checks out, I'm good to go. Let's look at another example on how we can set up word problems to um, solve using systems of equations. We have a problem that says the Ford family and Carter family were talking about an activity that they each did last summer. The Ford family said they spent $86 for their two adults and three children. Carter family paid $122 for their three adults and four children. If both activities had the same cost for adults and the same cost for children, how much did it cost for each? So there's a lot of information in this word problem, but I really want to focus on what is important in this. And so usually you want to look for things that include numbers, costs, things like that. And in this example, we have one set that says $86 for two adults and three children. And so I'm going to use letters to represent adults and children. I'm going to use A and C. And I know that two adults plus three children equals $86, which is great. That helps us out a lot. I know the other piece of the information is $122 for three adults and four children. So I can write that out in an equation that says 3A or three adults plus 4C, four children, equals 122. Now I have my two equations I can use in, to um, solve using systems of equations. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything that says one variable equals a quantity, and so I can't use substitution, so I look at elimination. Um, none of my corresponding variables have the same coefficient, the a's are different and the c's are different, which means I need to use that trick of multiplying at least one of my equations by some number so that I can make the coefficients be the same. 
Um, and in looking at my numbers two and three for A and three and four for C, you know, there's not gonna be a number I can multiply just one of my equations by. So I actually need to multiply both of my equations. So when you multiply both your equations, the key is really just to pick a variable you wanna solve or you wanna eliminate and then multiply accordingly. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the A's. I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate that. To eliminate those, I need the, the coefficient to be the same. So to do that, I'm gonna take my equations and multiply each of them by the other coefficient. And so what I mean by that is I'm gonna take the first equation, I'm gonna multiply it by three. I'm gonna take the second equation, multiply it by two. That way I know that my A's will be the same in the end, All right? So when I do that, I get on my top equation, I get 6a plus 9c equals 258. That's each term multiplied by three. And then the bottom, I get 6a plus 8c equals 244. Each of the bottom terms multiplied by two. Now my a's are the same, six and six. I can go ahead and subtract those two because that will eliminate it. 6a minus 6a is gonna be nothing. And so 9c minus 8c is gonna get me 1c or just plain old c and 258 minus 244 is gonna get me 14. So I know that C is 14, which is great. I can use that value to go ahead and plug it into one of the equations that I started out with. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the top equation to plug it into just because the numbers are a little bit smaller, um, and I'm gonna see what I get to solve for A. So when I do that, I get 2A plus three times 14 equals 86, and I'm going to simplify from there. Um, 2a plus 42 is 86. So now I'm going to use some algebra here. I'm going to subtract 42 from both sides to get 2a by itself. I get 2a equals 44. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to get a equals 22. So now I know the value of c. I know the value of a. I can say that my solution is the adults cost $22 each and the children cost $14 each for the activities that these families went on. So I hope this helps when you get to solving word problems. The key with any word problem is to go ahead and find the information that is important to help you set up the problem. Not all of the information presented in a word problem is gonna be useful, so it's key to find the parts that are. And I recommend looking for anything that has to do with numbers, or you know variables or things that can be represented as variables. I hope everyone is staying safe and as always thanks for watching.